can we take a few minutes to pray do you believe in prayer please no movement around we are going to pray enough is enough this is the year that god is stretching you and opening some doors i'd like you to open your mouth and begin to pray concerning the areas of your life where you know that the word of god has not yet prevailed please open up your mouth and pray the bible says so mightily grew the word of god and prevailed when the word of god grows it always prevails when the word of god grows it always prevails someone is praying this year doors must be opened in the name of jesus Shaprakatoske de brende ke parakatoska ligata embraka parakatoske frete ke pereketas ke frontas ke berendo shoto pregete belegeta someone is praying in the name of Jesus exceeding great and precious promises concerning my life concerning my destiny concerning the purposes of the kingdom Someone pray. Those who are following online, make sure you pray. Make sure you pray. Are you praying? access to the exceeding great and precious promises that by these we might be the partakers of his divine nature that by these we might be the partakers of his divine nature in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now I want you to concentrate on the area that does not seem to work don't pray prayers of unbelievers Lord what is it except if you are praying an inquiry prayer otherwise the scripture you know place it there why is this not working lord your word says this i engage i engage with understanding some of you is because you have not engaged with understanding open up your mouth and begin to cry to heaven that area you want god to visit you in go ahead and pray this threat of death over my life the bible declares that i shall not die but live and declare the works of the lord death you have no power over my life in the name of Jesus Christ, recurrent illnesses, I curse you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus, for he gives me health and cure. In the name of Jesus Christ. God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your path is as a shining light that shines more and more more and more more and more even unto the perfect day in the name of Jesus Christ I arise and I shine I arise and I shine my light is come the glory of the Lord is risen upon me in the name of Jesus, I declare that I am a blessing, a blessing to the nations. According to Genesis chapter 12 and verse 3, that in me and through me, the families of earth are blessed. I declare in the name of Jesus, from Europe to America, from Canada to Africa, and all the 30 states of this nation, you are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm delivered from six things, yea, even seven things. In famine I laugh. I'm delivered from the scourging tongues of men. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shapragadebelegadebraskadabaranto kaparudas keyata. 
thou will show me the path of life for in your light I see light 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 turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev in the name of Jesus Christ one more minute go ahead and declare declare over your ministry declare over your family declare over your job declare over your assignment that in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God grows mightily and it prevails it grows mightily and it prevails it grows mightily and it prevails hallelujah hallelujah the last prayer point we are wrapping up now this fire is burning in this place Luke chapter 5 give us from verse 1 Luke chapter 5 and it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of the Lord he stood by the lake of Gennesareth 2 reading to 6 and saw two sheep standing by the lake but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Verse 4. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch into the deep and let down your nets for a draught verse 5 and simon answering unto him said master we have toiled in this abuja master i was even born in the place of plenty master all kinds of excuses but here is your prayer point nevertheless 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 i know that i may not have paid attention all through 2022 but nevertheless at thy word not at my emotions i did nevertheless my emotions it failed me nevertheless man failed me but this time around nevertheless at thy word i will let the net down verse 6 the bible says and when they had this done they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break now listen listen please look up go to verse 4 I want to show you something there look very carefully when Jesus spoke to them he said let down your net n e t s go to verse 6 they only let down one net and the only net that they let down in fear was the only one that was filled. He said, let down your nets, all of it, financial nets, spiritual nets. You only let down your net in terms of relationship. And that was the only one that was filled. Now he's speaking to you. What is withholding the other nets? He has told you, nevertheless, let down the nets. Let down the nets. Let down the nets spiritually. Let down the nets every aspect of your life can have a catch open your mouth and begin to declare nevertheless at thy word nevertheless at thy word nevertheless at thy word in the name of jesus christ for my health nevertheless at thy word i may be diagnosed of a situation right now but nevertheless at thy word even while receiving treatment I declare nevertheless at thy word my finances may not be healthy right now but nevertheless at thy word go ahead and pray nevertheless nevertheless it's my year of open doors, nevertheless. I am walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am favored. I am walking in abundance, moving with 
the speed of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to speak over your life. The prophetic is a potent mystery in the spirit that can empower men, can create possibilities in the lives of men. I keep praying all the time and asking God to help me that my words will not be barren, that I will not waste the time of God's people just shouting and gyrating and making a lot of empty noise. What fills our sounds and our speakings is the anointing of the Spirit following His word. I prophesied as I was commanded, He said, and there was a sound. I want to speak over your life. I want you to truly believe from the depth of your heart. You will marvel and wonder at what the God of heaven does. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you this week, not next week. This week you are entering by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Return with strange results. 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 Hear me, everything that looks like a financial captivity, I don't know why I keep talking about this. Anyone here who is in any kind of financial captivity, I call upon Ebenezer, the God that helps men. This week, may God raise men to bail you out now. I say to you, this week, may God raise help us to bail you out. Everyone who has been anointed to locate you and hold your hands, but by demonic occurrences, the devil has created a distance between them. I push them towards your direction prophetically. I push them towards your direction prophetically. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. I don't know what city you are from in case you are not in this city wherever it is that you are represented I speak over the gates and the forces of that city in the name of Jesus according to Job 5 I command the elements of creation to begin to align themselves to bet the purposes of God for you hear me when it was time for Noah to know whether it was safe to come out of the ark it was a raven that gave him the signal. He sent a raven. The raven returned back. It is not yet time. God can use anything to give you signals because you are in league with the elements of creation. Hear me. The Bible says, And now the Lord of peace himself grant you peace always and by all means. I bring you into the covenant of peace. 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 Hear me, if you are a man of God in ministry here, if there is anything that represents shame and reproach in your ministry, whether financially or in terms of membership, go back and produce strange results. Every career person here who has been grounded in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I declare that a new chapter be opened for you now.
Hallelujah. And any family ravaged by the operations of witchcraft that they tie people and don't let them go. He said, Now thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. I come tonight by the rod of a higher priesthood and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, every door that has been closed by witchcraft, I command that door, Ephata, be open. Ephata, be open. Ephata, be open. Be open. Be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. Businessmen, let me speak over your hands. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, whatever has brought your business down or brought you to struggle by the power of the prophetic, rise to a new level. Yes. Koinonia, every manifestation of prayerlessness every manifestation of slumber sleeping away your hours that should be invested in prayer let fresh grace rest upon you now let fresh grace from the altar rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ the grace to wake up and pray receive it in the name of jesus listen the capacity to be a student of scripture the capacity to be a student of scripture i found your word and i did eat it he says and it was a joy and a rejoicing in the name of jesus passion for the word and the grace to be full of the word receive it now Every scripture in this Bible that is connected to what you need in this season, I declare by the spirit of revelation, may you find that scripture. May you find that scripture. And by engaging it, may you commit God's integrity to perform. Hear me, Koinoni, I'm praying for everybody, but in the name of Jesus Christ, you cannot be connected to a global apostolic and prophetic ministry like this whether through relationship through covenant by whatever means in the name of Jesus Christ you have not seen tears in this house may your crying come to an end now you have not seen reproach in this house may everything that spells reproach be far from your life you have seen ever increasing glory let it be replicated in your life you have seen spiritual fire and fervency. Let it be replicated in your life. And before I wrap up tonight, anyone sitting where God has mandated that it must be yours, I overturn. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Death has no power over your life, has no power over your children. In the name of Jesus, you will not cry again, for the book is open. In the name of Jesus, hear me. I feel led particularly to pray for people who have committed a lot of finances in managing health concerns and right now it looks like it has depleted them in the name of Jesus not next week this week I call upon my God who is the helper of men may God send you help from his sanctuary so let hope let it rise Darkness trembles in your own 